Hi everybody and welcome to this uh, new video tutorial about uh, Quico control board for 230 volt swing gate operators. What we have here is a Quico digital control board QK CE 220 BAT RL4. Uh, the user manual of the product is behind uh, the top cover of the box. Uh, it's uh, a digital control board, very similar to the digital control board of uh, our uh, sliding gates. It is uh, supplied with the top cover for uh, replacement fuses. You can remove it when doing uh, installation. It is made by terminal blocks of one motor, second motor, main power supply, 230 volts and low voltage connections. There are the push buttons to control uh, or change the software program. A and B push buttons are to go up and down in the function. C and D are to change uh, uh, the function parameter. This connector is for the electric lock. The expansion connector is for uh, a smart module. The two-digit display is uh, showing the current status of the control board or any error related to it. We will now see the major connections um, starting from uh, the mains. So we wired uh, the main power supply to terminal blocks number 19 and 20. We connect to the control board. We switch on the control board. What you see on the display when you switch on the control board is uh, the software version. This might be interesting because uh, uh, we constantly add functions to the board. And uh, for example, in this case, HB is for swing, 2115 is the software release. You might have some functions in uh, 2115 that were not available in 2114. So to recognize the software version of the board, you can uh, check what the display is showing when you start up the board. Very similarly to our uh, sliding gate control board, also our swing gate control board have uh, uh, low voltage connections in the terminal blocks going from 1 to 12. Number 1 is start uh, for start push button, number 2 is for stop push button, number 3 is for external photocell, it is the photocell connected uh, uh, and installed outside the property. It is normally the photocell that works in closing only. Number four is for uh, uh, internal photocell and uh, it is the photocell installed internally of the property and it works in opening only. Number seven is uh, uh, the contact or the input for uh, uh, pedestrian. Number eight is uh, common and uh, plus 24 volt. 24 volt plus for powering uh, uh, low voltage accessories. Number nine is photocell test in case you want to use it. Number 10 is minus 24 volt power supply. Number, number 11 and 12 are for the flashing lamp. How to make the connections? You will, uh, for example, a start push button, you can wire it by connecting the two cables coming from the push button, that must be a normally open push button, from one, which is the signal, to eight, that is the common. So one is the contact, eight is the common, and uh, you can make a start push button connection here. To make the stop, you need a normally close uh, push button for the stop, and you can connect it uh, with two cables, one connected to number two and one connected to the common number eight. For the photocell, the same. The contact of the photocell from the receiver of the photocell goes to number three and number eight for uh, external photocell, or uh, for internal photocell, it goes from four to eight. This is for the contact. Differently, for the power supply, you need to connect uh, plus 
on the receiver and the transmitter of the photocell to uh, terminal block connector number 8 and then you need to connect minus from uh, uh, transmitter and receiver of the photocell to 10 uh, of uh, the control board. So terminal block connector number 10 is minus for uh, uh, photocell's power supply. 11 and 12 are the two cables to connect the 24 volt AC flashing lamp. These two, 13, 14, 15 and 16, 17, 18 are the two terminal blocks for connection of the motors. Uh, they can be removed and motors can be connected here. Uh, number 13 is for phase one. Number 14 is for neutral, number 15 is for phase 2, the same is for the second motor, 16 phase 1, 18 phase 2, 17 is neutral. Uh, now, when connecting a motor, make sure that uh, after you power the system up and give a first start signal, both motors must open. If uh, both of the motors or one of the motors uh, close instead of opening, you need uh, for the motors or the motor that, that is closing instead of opening, you need to swap the phases. If uh, uh, it was the first motor to close instead of opening, you need to swap what is connected to 13 with what is connected to 15. Also remember when connecting the motor that uh, uh, the capacitor needs to be connected together with the phases. The control board is equipped with a, a built-in receiver. The receiver is this uh, uh, radio module that you can see at the bottom of the control board. The radio receiver is pre-wired to an antenna cable you can also connect, uh, instead of this cable, you, you can connect uh, an external professional antenna. The control board uh, is uh, equipped with protection fuses and also uh, self-resetting fuses. Especially uh, the self-resetting fuses are very useful in case of short circuit on the low voltage terminal blocks as they will not need to be replaced if there is a short circuit. You just need to switch the control board off for one minute, remove the short circuit and then plug the board back again and the system will work again without having to replace a fuse. We will now see how to program uh, uh, the remote control on the control board. Uh, here we have uh, a Quico MO4, QK MO4 remote control. We can see that uh, when we press any button, uh, there is a red dot coming on in the center of the display. This is because uh, the control board is detecting a radio signal but cannot recognize it. So, uh, to let the board uh, recognize the remote control, we need to store the radio signal in the receiver. What we need to do is uh, go to R1 function, keep the button of the remote, any button of the remote pressed, the display, the display uh, red dot comes on, we press the C button on the control board and the radio signal is stored. Every time we add a new button to the, it can be a new button or a new remote control, it will show a different number. Now we will store button number four and it is the second button that we store in the control board. Uh, we can then uh, cancel a single code if we want. We go to R0 parameter. When we want uh, to cancel code number two, we keep C button pressed when uh, number two is displayed. So there will be only number one inside the receiver now. Or we can cancel all the codes by going to uh, R5 parameter, 
R5 and keep C button pressed until the LED stops flashing. Now, if we go back to R0 to check how many remotes are inside, we will not see any other remote inside. A nice feature about uh, Quico digital control boards is that they can have uh, the remote control can make different functions on the control board depending on the button that you save. So, for example, if you store a button of the remote on R1 parameter, it will make the standard step-by-step uh, -step cycle. If you save it on parameter R2, it will make the stop. If you save it on parameter R3, it will make the pedestrian opening. If you save it on parameter R4, it will make the fast closure. Fast closure is a function that will close the gate automatically once the two photocells have been uh, cleared up. On the same remote control, you can uh, act differently. Let me give you an example. We will store first button of the remote on radio uh, channel number one of the control board. We stored it in R1. And then uh, we will store uh, the, the last button on parameter R2 that will make the stop. We will go out of the programming. Button number one will make a go and button number four will make a stop. Button number one will make the start and button number four will make the stop. We will now go more in detail and have a look to the software functions by means of our testing device. What we have here is our testing device connected to our 230 volt digital control board for swing gates. And um, yeah, we can see all the connections we have done to simulate uh, external devices. Start push button, stop push button, external photocell, internal photocell, pedestrian opening contact, uh, common for uh, contacts and uh, plus 24 volt together, uh, photocell test, minus 24 volt and flashing lamp. For example, there is a photocell connected here, the flashing lamp connected. Also, we are simulating by means of uh, uh, these uh, red and green LEDs, we are simulating the functioning of uh, two motors. So the LEDs on the left side are related to motor A, the LED on the right side are related to motor B. Motor A is uh, the one connected to connectors number 13, 14 and 15 and motor B is the one connected to connectors number 16, 17 and 18. The uh, green LEDs are for uh, simulating the opening of the motors. The red LEDs are for simulating the closing of the motors. These uh, uh, push buttons here are to simulate uh, the contacts connected to the terminal blocks. We will switch the system on. We will see the software version of the control board. Uh, the control board is showing two dashes. It means that the control board is in standby mode and there is nothing wrong. We can start our system. If for some reason the LED is showing another uh, error, for example, now it is showing ST because uh, it detects that the ST uh, the stop uh, input is either uh, broken or uh, pressed because I have removed uh, the terminal block. So all normally closed devices must be okay before the system to work. So we will uh, plug the terminal block again. Everything is ready. Let's try to remove this other terminal block. It will show again ST because uh, uh, the ST push button has a common connected to terminal block number 8. For example, uh, the display report shows if the photocell is interrupted. It shows TC, TC that stands for uh, uh, external photocell. 
when the photocell is not interrupted anymore, the TC disappears. So when uh, uh, everything is connected to the control board and uh, the two dashes are uh, appearing on the display, the system is ready to start and we then need to uh, set the working time. Once all the connections have been done properly and we see the display with two dashes, we are ready to uh, start the system and uh, set the working time. To set the working time, we need to start to use the functions and uh, to get access to the functions and modify them, we need to use these four buttons that are on the left of the control board. A and B buttons are to go up and down in the functions, so to change from one function to another. Uh, C and D buttons are to change the parameter inside the function. So for example, if we want to change parameter A1 to 15, we uh, use a, a C button after selecting A1 function. We select uh, parameter A1 to set the working time of motor 1 and uh, we select parameter B1 to set the working time of motor 2 or motor B. You can call it motor 1 or motor A and motor B or motor 2. Uh, setting the working time is very easy. You uh, select parameter A1. 15 seconds are now settled. If you want to increase or decrease, you use plus or minus here. What we recommend is, uh, for example, your gate opens in uh, 20 seconds totally. We recommend to set 17 seconds of A1. A2 is the slowdown working time. We can leave it at about uh, 5 seconds, for example. B1 is uh, uh, motor B working time and uh, we uh, leave it at, let's say, A1, we left it at 17. Okay, we will leave B1 at 17 also. And also we will set the slowdown of motor B at five seconds. Uh, after uh, uh, setting the working time, uh, we are ready to start. We will uh, remove uh, uh, the programming uh, by going out from the programming. We will press the start push button. We will see motor A opens, then motor B follows. After 17 seconds, we will see this LED flickering. It means that the motor started the slowdown. Here it is. Motor B will follow. And then uh, motor A will stop and then motor B will stop. Once everything has stopped, we will see uh, a counter coming down as it is the automatic closing. Now, uh, for the same time, motor B will uh, close, motor A will follow, and uh, after 17 seconds, motor B will start slow down and motor A will start slow down. Uh, the flashing lamp flashes slowly during uh, uh, closing and uh, uh, rapidly during opening. We saw the digital counter coming down, uh, which was the automatic closing time. Uh, you can uh, adjust the automatic closing time by uh, parameter F0. Here it is. Uh, you can increase it or decrease it uh, uh, as you like. Per standard, it is set at 10 seconds. Now uh, we will have a look to the uh, functioning uh, of the photocells. The system is opening, we will stop it and then we will start closing. What happens if we interrupt the photocell? The system will reopen again for the same time that uh, uh, it closed. 
Uh, now there are uh, um, some functions that uh, is important to mention. Uh, specifically, they are uh, uh, A5 for the standard force from uh, uh, 0 to 10. Let's say that the standard force as an average is settled at uh, 60%. A6 is the force during slowdown. The same for B5 and B6 for the other motor. Parameter A7 is uh, uh, for obstacle sensing. You can set it uh, uh, from 0 to 100, so to make sure that if the motor, uh, if the gate touch an obstacle during movement, after a certain threshold, it will uh, stop and reverse. Uh, you can set it uh, uh, for uh, standard speed or slow down speed by means of A8. If you enable uh, uh, the uh, uh, obstacle sensing on A8 and B8, which is for motor A and B, it will also work as electronic limit switch, uh, so that when the gate touch the ground stoppers, the motor will stop immediately. Uh, we recommend to set it at uh, about uh, 50 or 60 on both uh, 7 and B8 and uh, A7 and A8 and uh, that's it. Then uh, uh, other functions are with the letter F. F0 is like we said for uh, automatic closing. F2 is a kickback function for uh, uh, the electric lock. F3 is pre-blinking, if you want the flashing lamp to pre-blink before starting the cycle. F4 is a kickback function for the electric lock, but uh, during opening, not during closing. Uh, F5 is for enabling or disabling step by step. F6 is to enable or disable community mode. Uh, F8 is to select the logic of the photocell. Standard logic is uh, SI. Uh, L0 is uh, uh, to select whether you have an electric lock or not. In the case you have an electric lock, you need an external, uh, an external PCB, which is uh, uh, QKE lock M, uh, and it is especially to control electric locks. You must connect it in uh, this connector and set the parameter L0 to SI. Uh, L1 is a cold winter function, which is especially uh, intended for uh, cold countries to avoid uh, the control board and the motors to freeze in case of uh, extreme environmental conditions. Um, it is a setting that you can uh, uh, set from 0 to 10 uh, depending on how cold uh, the weather is, normally setting it at 3 will be enough to protect the motors and the control board from uh, uh, very cold environments. And uh, uh, there are other parameters for the radio uh, receiver and to program remote controls. We will have a look later on on how to program the remote control. Uh, we then move to the parameters E1 to E7, which are the parameters related to the terminal blocks uh, which we see down here. For example, E1, which is uh, the standard uh, uh, opening uh, input, uh, can be transformed into open only or close only. Uh, the same you can do with uh, parameter E7, which is for the pedestrian. You can set it for open or close only. If you don't need pedestrian, you can... Uh, uh, maybe you need uh, two separated buttons, one for opening, one for closing. Then you can set E7 at CL and connect uh, closing push button to terminal block number 7. And you can set E1 to OP. OP, so to have uh, 
uh, the push button connected to E1, to terminal block number one, for opening only, and uh, the push button connected to terminal block number seven, for closing only. You then have uh, uh, parameter E2, which is uh, uh, to enable or disable the stop. Now, if we want to disable, we need to change parameter E2 to no. In this case, as you can see, you cannot change it because there is a stop push button connected, so the control board cannot modify the setting. But if you remove it and you disable it, the control board can work even without a stop push button. Regarding uh, uh, other uh, inputs, there is E3, which is for the external photocell. E4, it is for the internal photocell. The external photocell is the one that works during uh, closing. The internal photocell is the one that works during opening. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, there is, a, as I said before, there is a display report that shows every time the error that the control board is detecting. The display report uh, shows uh, uh, all the types of errors that the control board can detect. For example, it will show ST if the stop is not working. It will show FH if both the photocells have the problem. It will show TA if one photocell have a problem only. It will show TC if the other photocell have a problem. Uh, and that's it. So it's recommended to check the user manual the display report table because it is very important to detect immediately uh, if there is something wrong with the board. Finally, we always recommend uh, to read uh, the user manual entirely before proceeding uh, for an installation. It contains a lot of extra information about uh, how to do the settings and uh, it contains also information about some extra functions that we didn't mention today uh, and uh, always refer to a Quico distributor or to a professional installer for installing your uh, automatic gate. So thanks for watching and let's keep in touch.